right, welcome back to another edition of uh, Tuesday Tip. I'm Coach Brendan. Uh, today I wanted to be uh, talking about swimmer progression and what a, a normal swimmer's progression will look like throughout the course of a season and throughout the course of their career. We just had our first meet, the Shark Frenzy, and we've got a couple more coming up, so I just kind of wanted to briefly touch about how swimmers think it's gonna look something like this. Let's say they start up here, whatever the event is, and then the whole season they just get faster and faster and it just goes straight down like that. When in reality, that's not necessarily the case. But more realistically, especially with you older swimmers, you're gonna see something like this, where you start up kind of high and then you go a little faster and you add a little time and you go down a bit and then it just kind of zigzags its way down until you kind of reach that goal time. That's a more realistic progression throughout a, uh, a regular season. And obviously a lot of different variables go into how you actually perform. Eat meets are gonna go differently based on what uh, your training is looking, uh, looking like, what you're working on in practice. Maybe you're working a new technique and it hasn't quite taken effect yet. And it could just be based on maybe you're, you're sick one day. You didn't get uh, a night's sleep, uh, a good night's sleep. I guess the key takeaway I'm trying to get at is it's not necessarily the time that shows your progress. While it is nice in, uh, in swimming, we talk a lot about times, it's just the tip of the iceberg with, uh, in terms of your actual progression. So, I wanna take a second, kinda of transition here. Talk about your, the big picture, the macro, the career progression. As we go through this, you'll notice, so this is your, the course of your career. This axis down here, you're just starting out your swimming career. And now over here, you're getting towards the end of your career. Uh, on this axis over here, you got your speed, right? As you go, you know, longer in your career, you're gonna get a little bit faster with your speed, right? Pretty basic. To kind of start out your season, or to your career, you'll notice there's not a lot of growth initially, okay? It starts off kind of slow, but all, you know, at, at a certain point, the things that you're learning and practice every day with your coach, that all kind of starts to click and then you get this rapid growth, all right? Often when uh, your swimmer is starting to grow, that, that generally uh, correl uh, correlates with a faster time. You know, swimmers get bigger, they get more muscle, they get uh, able to swim faster. It's pretty, pretty straightforward. Eventually, you do stop growing. You kind of stop seeing those crazy time drops. You kind of start to level out. You get to a point where you learn to train better and smarter um, and all in an effort to drop smaller smaller and smaller amounts of time um, because there's only really so much speed you can gain after a certain point. But there are things we can do to improve what this progression looks like. So if you notice, I've got these little dashed lines that kind of upper and lower boundaries of what could be a, any swimmer's progression, okay? Now, you can be anywhere from you know, in that range at any given time, I'd say what's gonna help you go in this higher end uh, trajectory are doing those little things that your coach tells you every single day, okay? Tight streamlines off the wall, good underwater, no breath breakouts, those little things you hear every single day from your coach. If you practice them every day, and it allows you to get faster at a faster rate. Whereas on the opposite end, if you don't do those things, if you cut corners, if you skip yards, if you hop out to stretch every five minutes or you go to the bathroom three times of practice, you're gonna end up on this lower trajectory, not getting as fast, as quick as some of your teammates who are doing those little things right. You get out what you put in, okay? If you wanna be that swimmer who's you know, out training, out performing all of your teammates, those little details are gonna go a long way in terms of your long-term progression. Uh, thank you again. I'm Coach Brendan. This is your Tuesday tip, and uh, have a nice, have a nice week.